Hey, what's up everyone? We'll hear from Core Performance with an instruction video on Ice Blade Curve. We will be discussing what's in the box, how it works, how to set it up, care and maintenance. Let's get after it. So, what's in the box? When you receive your ice plate, there will be a few components included depending on the variant ordered. First, your ice plate curve, the premier hard cell cooling, heating, and hydration bladder. If you want to check out the colors currently available, click the link here. Second, there are two different caps available, freezer cap and ice cap. The combination of ice plate curve plus cap determines your ice plate curve variant. The freezer cap is exactly what you see here in the 28 by 410 thread standard and does not interface with the Source 90 drink tube. In the event you lose your freezer cap, any Coca-Cola type cap will hold you over until you visit the replacement parts section on the website. That can be found here. The freezer cap comes with or without an embedded magnet. The embedded magnet is for easy storage on your freezer door for drinkable ice plate curve customers who are switching to an ice cap. The ice cap for those who choose a drinkable variant features a quick disconnect that interfaces with the Source 90 drink tube. Last but not least, for those customers who wish to reap the hydration benefits of their ice plate curve, the Source 90 drink tube. Hail to the king, baby. How does ice plate curve work? Ice plate curve works by harnessing the thermoregulatory properties of water in either its solid state, ice, its superheated state, just below water's boiling point, or anywhere in between in relation to personal preference, safety, and outside temperature. At 50 fluid ounces, ice plate curve provides 70 watts of cooling or 52 watts of heating power in a single plate configuration. Double those numbers for dual plate, front and back configuration. That's a whopping 100 fluid ounces of hydration, 140 watts of cooling, or 104 watts of heating power. Ice plate curve after freezing overnight for six to eight hours is good for a cooling duration of two to four hours. Keep in mind, results will vary based on external variables, solar exposure, ambient temp, external heat sources, relative humidity, size, frame of user, metabolic capacity and workload. Heating duration is around three to five hours. Filled with hot water between 150 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit with the aforementioned external variables still at play. How do you set up an ice plate curve? Setting up your ice plate curve is incredibly straightforward. Depending on your desired effect, whether it be cooling, heating, and or hydration, for cooling, fill with water to the fill line. Install one of the two caps, either freezer cap or ice cap. Freeze overnight for six to eight hours, and you'll be good to go run through the Georgia jungle in the summer. For heating, fill with hot water to the fill line. Install one of the two caps, either freezer cap or ice cap, and you're ready to rock it out in the Rockies during the winter. If you have purchased your ice plate curve in a drinkable variant, then attaching the Source 90 drink tube to the ice cap simply takes inserting the male end of the Source 90 into the female end of the ice cap. We appreciate the effective binary approach. Optimizing the integration of ice plate curve on your plate carrier is accomplished through our IMS line. IMS is intended for external mounting of your ice plate on the back panel of your plate carrier via molly straps. IMS Versa has a universal internal mounting solution and is attached by routing the two vertical exo laminate straps through a molly field on the rear plate bag or a similar opening. Two types of side straps are included to increase stabilization. Two two inch elastic side straps and one 10 inch elastic strap. IMS Pro is an internal and external mounting solution secured via internal or external Velcro fields or Velcro one wrap, malice clips, etc. For more details on IMS, check this link out or the show notes where you can find all the hyperlinks. So, care and maintenance. How do you clean ice plate curve? Ice plate curve can be ran through the dishwasher, fill port down with your other dishes. If you're cleaning on the go or of the paper plate variety, like most of us LARPers who spend their hard-earned chicky tendies on elite gear, then filling with hot soapy water can be used in lieu of a dishwasher. Dissolving tabs that are used to clean other legacy bladders work as well. They're an excellent option to keep with other hydration support equipment, purification tabs, energy liquids, electrolyte packets, etc. For the Source 90 drink tube, embracing your inner medieval night by whirlwinding your drink tube like a flail will evacuate residual water in the hose and those in close proximity to you. Well, that about wraps it up for the instructions on ice plate curve. 
And if you need additional information, you can hit these links. Let us know how much you enjoy and how you use your ice plate curve in the comments below. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Let YouTube know that you're a part of Americans building a superhuman future together one video at a time.